I like drawing a lot, so it helps me. It helps me think. It helps me just express my feelings the way I feel, the way the people make me feel. The Graffiti Mural Project is a project in which three teams of area youth compete to create positive anti-drug messages on various murals within the community. Well, the overall idea was to be able to create mural projects with uh, at-risk youth and um, to have them be able to experience the creative process in new ways that actually creates a message about healing, about families coming together, and also to create a whole different sense of meaning about their own experience of how they've lived through these things. He is hitting rock bottom right now. He um, has nothing left. He's wasted his life away doing drugs. And so what I wanted to do is show him like getting tired of the way his life is. And then it kind of tells a story. So this is the way he started his new life over because in the other panels I'm going to put him kind of leading a drug seminar and showing kids, you know, I live this life. It's not the way to go and you can do so much better. Wanting to fit in with your friends, maybe. Um, maybe not having the positive role models that you need at home, as far as like your parents keeping you off the street and in the books more. So, you think parents pay a really big role in uh, keeping kids clean and off drugs? Yeah, because my parents, you know, my dad was really strict with us, and my mom, too, they're they weren't having it, you know. We came home from school, we did our homework, and uh, we were involved in sports and everything, so we never had that, even that um, time to even get involved with people like that, because we were constantly either at a baseball game, at a football game, always involved in after school sports, or involved with the Boys and Girls Club or something, so. Yeah, I think parents, I think uh, they play a part too. Because if you're not there for your kids and they get into something that they're not supposed to. Oh no, I just try to tell them that it's not good for you. It, it ruins your health. It's, it's bad. It, I went through it and I lost my education just because of drugs. I wanted to be high off of weed or do other drugs just because I wanted to fit into a different crowd when you could just be yourself and just not do drugs. We had a structured leisure activity for the facility and the guys that were really interested and they developed some really good pictures, some really good designs and they also did an essay about how drugs have destroyed their families and what they've seen, uh, the dangers of drugs and the impact of drugs due to others' families. So these guys came up with the essay and the design and we all had a collaboration together. What's the difference between, like if somebody didn't know, what's the difference between tag and a tag and a graffiti? Tag and a graffiti? Well, a tag is kind of like your own personal thing that you work on that's like your that's like you, that's like your signature. And graffiti is just all out art. Art with words, basically.
drugs and alcohol. And then the other side of the mural is going to represent the freedom of not being on drugs and the family being unified together walking down the path. The creative process is one of the most powerful ways to have a hands-on healing experience because you're faced with having to create messages about who you are, about what your life is about, as well as then who you're going to be. And in each moment you're faced with choices like uh, if it's a blank sheet of paper or a blank wall for a mural, uh, what's going to happen and how you're going to do it. And that emptiness then turns into your choices and your expression. So the greatest piece of artwork a group, a person, or somebody can make is a successful life. And spreading that success to others is even greater.